Hey everyone, Major Frenchie, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about Freezy, a new version of Freezy 1.9. And this was released a couple of weeks ago. And what I'm going to show you is how you can integrate this uh, awesome version to future pinball. And um, so thank you very much, uh, Freezy, for your development on this. Also, there was a Mr. Moose 74 that contributed to the code for the future pinball. So thank you very much for your involvement. And Rav Arcade for his wonderful BAM uh, future pinball integration. Thanks a lot, Rav Arcade. And uh, Terry Red, thank you very much, Terry. Terry is always on top of things, doing uh, you know full tutorials. Uh, he has a, a good guide. Um, that you can find on VP Universe. I'm going to have a link in the description below so you can follow. The uh, The link is going to be in the description below. So you'll have to excuse me for my uh, voice uh, today. I got a bit of a flu, <clears throat> but uh, a pinball cannot wait. So <laughs> uh, let's just jump into it now. So first of all, if you do not have Freezy at all, a um, couple, couple of ways to go about this. Uh, I would highly suggest that you start with the baller installer, and that way everything is going to be set up for you. Uh, although you might have to update the uh, Freezy on top of it. If you have all of Freezy already, download the zip. So we're going to download the zip file. Put it in the download folder. So make sure you actually unblock uh, that file. It's a common mistake that people do. Right click on the zip, go to properties, and then you're going to see right here, uh, there's an unblock. You're going to have to unblock this. So click apply and click OK. Now you can extract this. So what's on the left is the where we're going to copy. The, this is the right is the download folder where we have all the files. And see that DMD device dot ini. Um, if you've done work with Freezy in the past, keep keep your file. Don't overwrite it because you're going to lose all your settings. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the DMD ext right here, and you're just going to copy it over. And also the that will go in the future pinball, so we will actually uh, deal with this. So DMD device DLL, DMD device log config, DMD ext, DMD ext log, and pro pinball slave bat. All these files, you're gonna take them and copy them to your vpin mame folder. You're gonna just bring it over to your vpin mame and drag and it it'll, it may ask you to replace just say yes replace okay the next thing is we're going to add the uh, dll file to the future pinball so go to your future pinball main folder open that folder on the right open gl32.dll you're going to drag it over to your main future pinball folder uh, again it you should not have a warning to replace and if you do just hit replace and you should be set, folks. Before you do even uh, some test in future pinball, let's just test it to make sure it works well on our VPX. Welcome to Hell in a Box. Okay, so it works. I don't have the colorized DMD for this yet, but uh, anyway, you, you can see you can see Freezy, you know it works. Now, a couple of things you will need to add uh, for the DMD EXT 1.9 to work with Future Pinball. Uh, you just can double click that DMD EXT.exe. It will not work. Okay, you need to launch this via the command line, and we need to set up uh, Pinup Popper front end with the command line stuff. Uh, people with real DMDs, uh, I'm sorry, folks, I, I do not have a real DMD. Uh, I know there are some extra steps in there, but Terry actually explains it well, how to do it. 
uh, we're going to stick with virtual DMD, okay? Uh, he's got the command line right here, folks. Uh, just copy this, and then you're going to paste that in a document. Change the path, because you may not have the same path. This is the typical path uh, when you have the baller installer. That's where it's going to put it. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you don't have it, so for example, for myself, uh, well, I, if I go to my vpin main, I just can't copy this right here. And I'm just going to change the path between the brackets right here. Um, don't overwrite the dmd.ini. And also the, uh, the top folder right here, you will want to change it to your correct one. All right, so we've got that changed. So I'm going to copy this right here. Click on Popper Setup, Emulators, Future Pinball, right here. Then you're gonna click on Launch Script. Actually, before you do this, folks, um, it's always a good idea to copy uh, your script right here. So before you make any changes, Control A, Control C, and paste that in, uh, in a document file. So you you know you, something is not working, then you can have a backup of your script. So in your close script, uh, you will want to put the following line here. Again, Terry has it right here. That's the task kill command line. So we're going to just copy this, and you're gonna paste it below uh, whatever line you have there in your close script box. Okay, so you put that here. Um, if you have REM in front of any lines, that means it removes it. So it means it's not running the code. So when you're done, just click that check mark to save it. And uh, you will be ready to launch Future Pinball with the new Freezy as a DMD. All right, guys, we're going to load uh, Tales from the Crypt. And uh, I, well, I've picked this table because number one, I like it. And I did some Duff Links work on it. And Slam and Francisco Triple Six did a phenomenal job at coding this. Now you can see that the uh, the DMD is loading properly. So what you can do is you can take it and drag it just like you would on a VPX table. Okay. You can resize it uh, just by right clicking on it and ignore aspect ratio which basically allows you to just kind of play and set it the way you want. So I'm going to kind of make it fit on my overlay. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say save position for Tales for the Crypt only. Okay, so that's taken care of. Actually, one thing bugs me. Uh, let's just <laughs> take care of the back glass here for a sec. Let's just set it up uh, at least like that for now. Okay, there you go. Um, so we are going to right click on the DMD. Now you may have some issues uh, sometimes clicking on it. Like right now I'm clicking on it and it, it's not allowing me. So what I found is I, if I alt tab and I just select the DMD from the alt tab like this. Now if I go on top of it, it allows me to do the extra steps. Now to change the style, the color and so on, that's the... Uh, option right here that says customize style click on that now you'll notice and i've yet figured out how to do this from the table it, it is under it's actually right here even if i click on it I cannot bring that window on top and change the collar. So I'm gonna show you my workaround. So you'll notice that if you hit escape right now, Come on into the crypt. we have the kill command line that kills it. So what we need to do is go back in the popper setup, emulators, future pinball, launch setup. Remember the close script, if we go at the bottom, we're going to put a remove right here, R-E-M. And then I'm going to click the check mark. So now the task uh, kill function is not going to run once we exit the table. So you'll see what that does. Okay. So now that we have the, the task kill 
uh, disabled. So we're going to right click on it again. Alt tab, come back. Then right click, customize style. And you can exit now Tales from the Crypt. First thing I want to show you here at the bottom right, look at this. So you got apply. So it knows we're running Tales from the Crypt, even though we exit exited out because it didn't kill it uh, with Tales from the Crypt when we exited the game. It's still running. So if you want to apply the settings that we're going to do just for one game, you just click this and you're done. So let's just start looking at the different changes we can do here. So first of all, you can do the different size of dots. Uh, you can even apply the colors. You can even apply different width and so on. Uh, for the time being, we're just going to do the 128 by 32. And look at the dot size here. You can actually change the dot size. The dot rounding, let's just put it to zero. You can see the difference. So you play with how you like it. The, the dot sharpness. Okay, the actual color of the dots. The tint is actually going to be the uh, the color of the the text. So right now it's set to green. Tail from the crypt is kind of a I like green. And then here is the amount of color that you're going to apply. If you don't change it, it'll stay orange. But if you apply that, you'll see it changes. And you can put it any color you want, really. You just pick the color and um, and then you just add the amount of tint that you wish. Uh, the gamma. So we can add like this. I like that. The glow. We can add some glow. Actually, let's just have a look at the dot glow first. So we're going to apply this like that. And the brightness. Just like this. Okay. Uh, some other stuff you can probably play with, like image overlay. If you want to add an image uh, below it, well, you could. So let's just say that we want. So here, here are the frames that, we, remember, we copied that earlier. So let's just try to open that up. There you go. So the DMD is going to look like this. I'm going to drag the actual window here. That's the command line stuff. Okay, so look, if I'm going to apply it, I'm going to save it first. You'll see it's going to change. And if I hit apply to Tales from the Crypt, see, it saved the config in our DMD device.ini. Let's just pull up that file. And here are the values. You know when you're right-clicking and you save the position and so on? Well, it saves it in the uh, DMD device.ini file. So we look if we look at the bottom here, we have those values right here. And you can see that the changes applied on the preview screen right here. So let's just close this. You can right-click, close all windows. And we're going to relaunch. So here's our DMD. You see the overlay actually loaded right within our frame, so which is good. Oh, I love that glow. Now that border kind of hides our text. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to remove it. Or I could just uh, resize the DMD to be within it, right? Okay, if I right click. Ignore aspect ratio, and I'm gonna drag. Oh, it's removing. Oh, okay, yeah, it's part of the DMD now. So I don't like that. So let's just go change this. Okay, so we've got some effects. Um, I'm just gonna give it a texture. So we're gonna give it a texture of like broken glass. And then what you need to do, you need to rise the DMD lighting, just like that. 
and all right we're going to apply and you'll see it applies the color changed right to the dmd then close it close all windows for the uh, dmd and the glow's a little too much okay uh, let's just go easier on the glow <laughs> And by the way, you could always drop down here and there's a there's a function to apply globally if you wish. Okay. So actually it's not bad. Actually much better that, that way. So again, you play with the different settings for each table. So let's just uh play a bit and see what that DMD looks like. Might have to turn completely off that uh, glow. Actually, the, the text is really sharp, though. I really like that. But then you see how you can change it, make it, you know, the way you want. So once you've got all your tables set up, I guess, uh, you will need to go back in the pinup popper config script, and you're going in the launch setup, and then you're going to re-enable the task kill command that will run when the table closes. So we will close your DMD EXT. Anyway, now, that's, uh, that's it. Thanks again for all the people that worked on making this happen. And guys, I'll uh, see you in the next video.